there are things to be afraid of out in our world. God wants us to understand and know this is belongs to a sawfish. A sawfish is is very mean creature in my book. I know he's only doing what's, you know, he wasn't created to do it, but we need him now that sin is in our world. And I don't know why, but that's what they say. This is a blade on the front of his face. And he goes blade first everywhere he goes. And when he sees a school of angel fish like you, he just takes his mouth and he does this. And he just slices and maims and cuts anything that's in his way. He's not hungry. He's not frightened. He just does it. And now, sometimes, see how this is turned up a little bit? That's so that when he goes like this, in the bottom of the sea, back down in the sand, to get a crab scared up and seashells, whatever he's trying to do, it won't stub. It's turned up just a little bit so he can go like this. And he's just not the kind of thing you want to get next to. Now, I know that these, these teeth don't look very strong. But if you could get something powerful behind them, that would be pretty damaging, wouldn't it? I want to tell you the truth about things. This is what Satan is like. He just likes killing things. We have to be honest. Now, we, do we have to be afraid? That's the question. Do we have to be afraid? Absolutely not. Because he that is in us, Jesus, is greater than the one out. But that's why you get down on your knees in the morning. Because God says, I'm going to go with you. You might meet up with a sawfish, but I'm going to go with you. You might meet up with a manta ray. You might get scared, but I'm there with you. And God is powerful, more powerful than the manta ray, right? He could if he wanted to just squash us. He could. Is he? How many think that God would even hit you or do that to you? How many? No, you're convinced. Raise your right hand if you think God would absolutely never do that. You're convinced and you're absolutely sure if you walked in here. How many think that if you walked in here, you can put your hands down. If you walked in here, he might even reach over and give you a kiss on the cheek. You think he would? I think so too. And so we're convinced of that, aren't we? That's why we're not afraid. But there are things that are afraid. Fearful. I want to read you a Bible verse because the Bible talks about this. Did you know that? Well, it's ocean version. I'm going to read you the ocean version. And you can see that I have the verse marked with a picture of the creature it represents. You know this verse. You've read it before. Listen, stay alert. You think that I'm in the ocean, I'm going to be alert. You think I'm just going to close my eyes and say, oh, I'm going to rest. I don't think so. Stay alert. Be careful. You think I'm careful what I swim up to and start handling? Sure, till I know. I back off. All right, so it says stay alert and be careful because the devil is roaming around like a hungry sawfish, <laughs> seeking whom he may destroy. That's the ocean version. What does your Bible say it is going around like a hungry? You remember that? <laughs> Lion, because the writer of this book never saw a sawfish. Pardon? He knows lions, though, doesn't he? 